session let's learn about hash partition okay the hash partitioning uses a hash key to distribute your rows evenly across the different partitions okay example if you give a column like a customer id or a product id to the hash algorithm based on the value a hash key is created and based on that hash key it distributes the data evenly across the different partitions okay whenever the range partition or the list partition is not appropriate for you those are the scenarios where you go for the hash partition okay here in my example i am creating a hash partition based on the customer id okay based on the customer id value a hash key is generated and that hash key evenly distributes the data between these four partitions c1 c2 c3 and c4 okay i cannot decide which customer id goes into which partition okay oracle will generate the hash key and based on that hash key it will go into the appropriate partition okay now let's go and create a hash partitioning table so create table sales 3 customer id number order date date sales amount number region where cat to of 10 and now i want to create a hash partition it is by hash on which column i want it on customer id customer id okay and i want to divide it into four partitions it can be any number of partitions okay depending upon the size of your data so depending upon the size of the data you can create so many number of partitions if your data is too huge maybe 10 partitions if it is more bigger than that then maybe 20 so it's all your call okay so this is c1 partition c2 partition c3 partition c4 okay close it and let me create it so table says 3 is create okay so now let's insert some data sales 3 values 1 comma 12th january 2015 Twenty comma east and insert the data and commit. Insert one more customer ID for the same east and insert another row for east. Insert. another row for west and insert another row for west okay that's enough we inserted about five rows okay let me query the table select star from sales 3 i run it and there are five rows can we say in which partition customer id 5 is stored no right because we don't know depending upon the hash key the data is stored in that partition okay let's find out okay let's see what are the rows stored in the partition c1 okay c1 and run it no rows are stored in c1 okay so let's check c2 no rows are stored in c2 c3 okay couple of rows are stored in 
C3. And in C4, the remaining three rows are stored. Okay, so we have inserted totally five rows. Two rows are inserted in partition C3 and three rows are inserted in partition C4. Okay, as we insert data, the data will be inserted in partition C1 and C2. But we cannot really control which customer ID is going to which partitions. Okay, it all depends upon the hash key generated from the customer ID. Okay.